A lot of people don't realize it, but moon up, moon down does not mean your majors. Majors have nothing to do with moon up, moon down. Majors have to do this year has been tough. It's August 13th, and I have yet to catch a muskie. having so many problems with the cameras today. This is horrible. Anyway, I got to my spot. I think I'm approaching a major. I'm trying something new that I heard from Pete Bosselman. So we'll give it a try. Heard it on the Ugly Pike podcast and I'll tell you what that is if it works. Mr. Legendary Frank Shelton took me here. So let's see what's what. Yes. Oh, yeah. in the bag. Get up for a picture, get back in the water. Oh, it's heavy, it's heavy. Oh, what a pig. What an absolute pig. Let go of the net. I don't need a measurement on that fish. That was beautiful. And I worked hard for that. I wish you could hear my heart pump. I am so slimed. Got musky poop on me. First time wearing this shirt. Maybe it's a lucky shirt. We'll find out. Absolutely slimed. Let's see if I can get this back, this bait back in commission. Let's see if I can get another on the whale tail. It's number five, baby. Number five. But what number hook do I need here? I think that's number three. I was listening to Pete Bosselman on the Ugly Pike podcast. And he had a really cool and interesting suggestion. And I think I'm going to follow that from now on. In case you're not up to speed, many muskie anglers claim that most, if not all, of their biggest catches come during certain times of the day that are dictated by the 
moon. These are called majors and minors. I know this may sound crazy, but way too many anglers make this claim for there to be no truth behind it. Many muskie anglers make this decision on what the major is, depending on what the position of the moon in the sky is, when it's directly above you or directly below you. But Pete's saying that there may be a common misconception here. I noticed many, many years ago that I was catching my biggest fish and having my biggest moments about an hour, hour and a half before everybody else showed up to fish the major. Couldn't put my finger on why. So I start looking into it deeper and looking at the actual title charts. And guess what? They lined up with what I was seeing. So we know that the moon has a, a major impact on your tides, right? On gravity. It's all about the gravitational pull of the moon. A lot of people don't realize it, but moon up, moon down does not mean your majors. Majors have nothing to do with moon up, moon down. Majors are when the moon is the closest to the earth. And that is not at moon up and moon down. Don't go by your basic lunar calendar. I'm going to tell you right now that I'm going to say probably seven, eight out of 10 fish I catch now are on the actual time when the moon is the closest to the earth, not at moon up. I was listening to that very podcast the morning that I had planned on going out musky fishing and uh, I decided to go two to three hours earlier than originally planned because of this. And because of that, I think it put me into the position where I needed to be at the right time. Now I didn't catch that musky right on a major, but I was within that two hour window and I definitely wouldn't have been there anyways if I didn't decide to go earlier. Now Pete goes more in depth about all of this and tells some pretty good stories within the podcast. So make sure you check out that full episode. I'll have it linked below and check out more from the Ugly Pike podcast. There's tons of great information on there. It's a Canadian musky fishing podcast. Highly recommend it. I'll also include a link to a solar lunar calendar that I've been referencing, but I actually bought this cheap Casio watch that will tell me what the tides are for that day. So that's uh, kind of handy. <laughs> I caught that beautiful muskie on the whale tail. The muskie had a whale's belly. Just doing a slow kind of pulse stop, pulse pause, pull pause. Anyways, there we go. First muskie of the season finally paid off. Finally got at it, but I'm not done yet. I've still got some time. Hopefully I can bag some more before the season's end. Maybe I can get one.